Hey guys, it's Mary, and I'm here today with author Rick Hansey. Hi. And um, I'm just going to ask him some five questions about his book series. So, here we go. Here's the first one. Your main character, Cassie, in the Fifth Wave series is a teenage girl. As an adult male author, what, it's like, what is it like writing from a teenage girl point of view? Oh, it was very challenging, but I, I, I purposely did it because I like to push myself as a writer. And I had written like 14 books and had never written from a female perspective. So uh, I decided it wasn't enough just to write about a massive alien invasion. I also had to do it from the point of view of a young girl. So um, it was to challenge myself and to you know, push my limits uh, as a writer. Did your wife help you out with that any? Absolutely, yes. It, uh, in fact, uh, a lot of Cassie's personality, world outlook, that sort of thing is, is based on Sandy's. Yeah. Okay. So you're a New York Times bestselling author. So the first time you got this news, what was your expression and your reaction to that? Total shock. I was out of town, and I remember I got a call um, at the hotel, and um, uh, it was one of those moments where you know you, you'll never forget where you were standing, what you were doing, and that was that was the feeling. That but it was an enormous amount of satisfaction because I had been working as a writer full time for. Um, uh, a long time, seven or eight, nine years or something. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not that I will ever forget what it's like not to be on that list, but it's a special feeling. So when you get an idea, where do you begin writing, and what is the hardest part of writing of, of the story for you? Uh, my ideas can come at any time and uh, anywhere. And uh, I think part of writing is always leaving yourself open to um, clues that are all around you. Um, it's hard not to come up with ideas if you pay attention to the world and just your everyday normal activities. There's um, there's so much material there. I think, you know, like Emily Dickinson proved that, right? Mm -hmm. with, um, uh, her life, and certainly writers like Eudora Welty proved that by living in the same town. And it's not like you have to travel and do all this different exciting stuff to come up with ideas. You know, um, as a writer, you just have to live. <laughs> Be alive. So, what's one quality or thing that you always try to add to your characters to make them seem like relatable or real or even human? Um, I think it's important to uh, try to make them as well rounded as you can in the sense that none of us is perfect. Mm -hmm. And um, all the characters I've ever created all have flaws and, you know, things that they struggle with and they're not perfect people. And I do think that makes them seem more real. And last but not least, now that your series, The Fifth Wave, is complete, and some of your other series as well, and you even have a movie out for The Fifth Wave, is there anything about the series that you would change, and why? Oh, wow. Well, absolutely. There's always something that you would change, um, because nothing is ever perfect that mm -hmm. human beings do, so there's stuff that I will look back and, and want to change. Um, at this point, I can't think of really anything specifically, but, you know, ask me another couple years and I'll probably have, you know, a whole laundry list of stuff. Well, thank you so much. This is just like a huge deal for me. Thank so, you. Thank you. This is so nice. Oh, sure. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, too. Thanks for hanging around.